moving on to Ghana now, and another good news, a stone boy received plaques for being most streamed Ghanaian musician on Boomplay. In 2019, he was ranked as the most streamed musician on that platform. So yeah, he's pretty excited to get his plaques, and mm. he's promised them to give them more music. I like the fact that um, African artists are beginning to use the digital platform, because mm -hmm. it's not just about going to perform in shows, in shows anymore or um, giving us albums and stuff. Now, digital platforms play a huge role in bringing revenue to the entertainment mm. industry and also to the artists themselves by getting royalties and recognition globally. So I like the fact that we're beginning to explore that digital space and not just keeping it analog and just doing the old. I'm still exploring this thing. Long. Begin, I don't think beginning really sits well because that's been the trend for it's been the, the trend. last two years now. Yeah, it's not it's, like we're getting in been, on it now. It's not like we're getting in on it now, but we're beginning to focus on streams. That's why somebody that's like COVID nineteen. That's them, why anyway. someone like Black Bones on everybody's comment. Have you streamed that about today? I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys it's saw been that, that period. For a long time. No, no, that especially about. Can you remember when he was doing it on almost every? Okay. No, you don't even have to follow him as long as you're following somebody else. And then he just comments. These comments is always, "Have you streamed that about today?" And it was becoming a thing on radio. I think the people that need to cultivate the culture more would be Africans. In Africa or say Nigerians in Nigeria to actually go and stream um, their work rather than waiting for places to download it for free. Mm. I think those are the areas we need to be having con conversation because I think artists, in fact, upcoming artists already know that they need to have an audio mark. Anyway, and before all, you start talking yeah. about my own, my own <laughs> about Stoneboy, um, is, is first of all, I think I was, I'm really impressed about how lately they have been pushing the Ghanaian sound because sometimes I get discouraged when indigenous music or indigenous sound doesn't do very well as much as the burner boy types of songs that are um, marketable to the globe and so because I remember when we were having a conversation that I was saying that I don't think Olamide is that sold outside like and I think it deserves to be part of the people making that type of noise but because it's indigenous that might be a restriction so for me this this um, this um, um, upload that um, Shatawali did kind of was like Stoneboy Stone Boy, sorry was to kind of like a um, was the encouragement for me to do that because the songs are quite indigenous in that way so I'm hoping that that type of music also gets pushed out so that people are not necessarily we just have to lose our voice because I don't want it to get to a point where we're all trying to strive for like uh, you know international recognition, but in the same way we're we're, temp we're um, going into the neo colonization of sounding Western to be able to sell Western, you know, like it would be nice to still be able to get that Western ac acknowledgement with African sound. So this for me was a big deal, and I like the statement where he said, um, "Thank you to everybody that's listening to Ghana music." Like I like that he's pushing that focus as well. Like he's selling that sound, and I appreciate that. You can go on now about your digitalization.